Hello everyone. Hello everybody. <laughs> we're now walking. We're not walking. <laughs> we're now driving over to our hot air balloon. Good morning, happy campers. Welcome back to the show. As soon as you get out of the car, this is the uh, check-in process. There's a lot of people. Darren's organising it for us. Making sure we get on our balloon okay. Oh my gosh, that's breakfast. Stop. This is easy. I wasn't even at the first time you are taking that plane round. Driving off road now. I think that's it. This is so cool. It's so much, so big. Yeah. I guess it has to be very big if it has to fit you know, eight to ten people. Wow! Yay! 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 Good morning, everyone. Bye bye. It's very early today on the 26th of September, <laughs> and I'm about to go on my first I see you in, hot air balloon. It's literally right in front of me. Oh, here. Come on, please. Oh my goodness. So they slowly let people off. I have never ever been on a hot air balloon before and I can't stop seeing up YouTube. But it's right behind me there, they're literally just getting Wow, what was that? Oh, we're going, we're going! Oh my goodness! Savage! Oh wait, I forgot the... I forgot the car! Are we actually all here? Yeah, yeah we're all in. Is this the one to Marrakesh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! This is so, so calm, isn't it? This is amazing. It's so peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Until that happens. It's so peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> it's really very nice to do with that midday sun. It was such a smooth landing and honestly that was one of the best experiences dream of my life. Like, yeah, it feels like a dream yeah, come yeah. true. Oh, okay. Like she can't stop smiling. And I was saying to the guys earlier, um, two of the best, most special moments of it my was, life has happened on this trip. I don't know, actually, you know, I think began oh, was a little bit literally. like that. One was spending time yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah but well, three things then. <laughs> this has been like a trip of a lifetime. That oh, was pretty quick as well. I'm going to be so happy to look back at this when I'm old and wrinkly. Charlie, how did you enjoy your trip? That was really, it was magical. It was magical. <laughs> it was really cool. I really loved it. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, I'm so happy you guys are sharing with you. That was awesome. That was really, really relaxing. It's yeah. just so peaceful. It's, well, it's really peaceful, but it's like, oh my God, it's so <laughs> peaceful up here and I'm really having a good. <laughs> it's pretty much what I expected to be. 
Excuse you. Off here, mate. Jesus. Uh, it's kind of what I expected to be, but in the best way possible. That it was just floating around, enjoying the morning view. Fantastic. Great, great end of the trip. Mikey, how did you find your trip? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was awesome. Uh, just incredibly impressive, but uh, at the same time, super, super tranquil. Um, yeah, just amazing. Really, really incredible. We're now having our certificates from the flight, and uh, they're writing our names in Arabic. <coughs> Shushi. Shushi. Yes. Wow. <coughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. Tripped. Hello, hello. We're just going to say goodbye to our beautiful room. It all started in Opera Plaza Hotel and is ending in Opera Plaza Hotel. Coming up, we booked ourselves a really nice restaurant, some belly dancing tonight, some good food. Yeah. And then we've got tomorrow night as well, and then we fly Sunday morning. Yeah. So tomorrow's gonna, tonight's going to be so much fun. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Hi, babe. Is this the first time on the vlog? Yeah. Look at how beautiful Bev looks tonight. Like you've got the most beautiful of Sheila. Like Come on, model yeah. for us, Bev. Bev looks. Oh yes. Look at how beautiful she looks. I love it. Turn around, twerk. Twelve. Fashion show. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm Work it, now. Bev. Oh yeah. For the last night of Morocco, we have two supermodels joining us today. Can I present? Beverly and Anastasia! Work it, work it. Nsk, nsk. Boots and cats. Boots. Nsk, 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 nsk. Oh yeah. Work it, twerk it. Oh yeah. Shake what your mama gave you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just had some breakfast. We've got some yogurt, banana slices. Oh, there you are. There's your face. <laughs> and some. Uh, breads and things and look at how cute this place is this is the pool i wonder if it's cold actually i might dip my foot into it later should i try and do it sneakily okay. Today is our last and final day in Marrakesh and we've just arrived at the Shardam Marshal. I don't feel like I'm saying this very correctly. It's one of the largest gardens here in Marrakesh and I want to see how different it is compared to the Lo Jardin secret that I went to at the start of the trip. So far it is so much bigger but um, I believe that these gardens were purchased by Yves Saint Laurent so they've got their signature blue all around the gardens and then I've also just bought a combined ticket for 180 dirhams which includes the gardens, the Berlin Museum and also the Yves Saint Laurent Museum but you can come to the gardens separately for 70 dirhams. Come bag shopping, we've just found this place that's literally <laughs> bag heaven. Like, if I can't find a bag here, <laughs> I have no. <laughs> oh my goodness, I <laughs> bag a bargain here. <laughs> my name Abdel. 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 And what's your shop called? Yes, it's a good shop. Cash Bunny. Cash Bunny. Cash Bunny, Cash Bunny. <laughs> thank you, thank Kesh you. Bunny. It's been a slight change of events. So when you last saw us, we were literally in the bag shop and we ended up haggling. We asked the Riyadh owner and he did say it was actually a really good price. I got this one and then I also got this one, which we're both in love with. Like it's, oh, look at it. And all of these are uh, handmade. But anyway, we've since gotten back to our Riyadh and we're about to go downstairs to have a hammam, which is a traditional Moroccan spa experience. And it's going to be, um, so I've got like a massive spot inside my tongue. Uh, it's going to be 45 minutes of like a body scrub exfoliation. Oh, ready for oh, you the change, you can use them. These robes are so thick as well. We're ready. Um, we've reached a new milestone in our <laughs> relationship. So we basically thought, to be fair, I should probably have researched it a little bit more. But um, I thought it was just going to be like 
because you know the typical like, massage experience with like a Moroccan traditional twist. We got in there and apparently um, she was just like, you just need to take off your bra. And we're like, okay. So we were just in the room and just watched each other get scrubbed, exfoliated, rubbed and bathed for an hour. So currently we have some classic bottles. Yeah, which isn't the best. Okay, come on, focus. How was your experience? Do you mean to show you? No. Okay. How was your experience? Though? Yeah, very good. Very relaxing. Oh, also, I was just say this is the place that we're staying at. London. Riyadh, Vienna. I love that. I feel so relaxed now. I feel literally so, so, so soft. Because she used a the black soap, which is made out of olives, and she like kind of cleansed you with it first and bathed you over with um, warm, like hot water. And then she washes that off and then she uses the Kessa glove, which is kind of like an exfoliating glove. But it felt like it was kind of like massaging you at the same time. I had an itch on my feet, my foot as she was doing it and I was literally just like, you've just hit that spot. Look at my leg. That's from the glove because um, they had like um, these like hard ridges and she like properly oh. scrubbed it. I feel like my leg looks so good after. I feel like it looks... Well toned. Okay, boys, in a way. This is our rooftop that we have to all to ourselves. This is our room over there. And it's honestly beautiful. Yesterday, which I didn't actually show, um, Christy and both Michaels came to visit us and we went over to this little table and cracked open a bottle of rose before we went to the sky bar and joined the rest of the group. So we all sat there. It was so so cute. Now we are heading over back downstairs where we have breakfast to have a dinner. So they do dinner for 25 euros, which is a starter, main course, and dessert. And basically, we just felt like we've been moving around so much that we just wanted to stay in one place a day. Day night with my best friend. This is how it should be done. Oh, he's got fairy lights. Good evening. Oh, this is so cute. We have the only table in the house. They've put music on. They've, uh, all the candles are lit all around here. Wow. And um, we have fairy lights up there as well. So, Hi. we're going to start with something a little bit sweet. Yeah. And then you have the salad, Moroccan salad. Yeah. Then you have your tagine. Mm, perfect. And then this one. Yay! Okay. I actually feel like Anastasia is going to propose to me tonight. <laughs> Mmm. Oh, wow. Start, no, that, that one we start always with something sweet mm -hmm. to give you the appetite. What are you eating now? Tomato? No. Exactly. Is it? Yeah, it's tomato. tomato. Is it? Yeah, but it tastes a bit like strawberry it's jam. It's tomato with it's cinnamon and uh, honey. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Food is. So we've got this. And it looks like it's tomatoes with pepper. Onions, olive on top. Presentation for this is ace. We've got our chicken tagine and we're under strict instructions from the chef to not touch it. Ta-da! Wow. Enjoy. So excited. Thank you, we will. Wow. I know. I take you the pictures. Oh my goodness. I'll probably like a pear favour, but no, it's good. Mm. You like it? Mm. It's so good. I love the spice in it as well as mm. cinnamon. Enjoy it. It is beautiful. For dessert, our chef has just prepared some poached pear with some almonds, and this sauce is made out of freshly squeezed orange juice with cinnamon, and it was mixed for over an hour to create this sauce, and it's kind of like thick. It it's so like a good. syrup. Like a normal pear? No. I don't know what he's done to it, but it's so delicious. Yeah. I'm going to take it for five hours. Thank you.